Okay, so this is a quick video to talk about algebra help and basically some good approaches, some good advice um, on how to how to become successful in algebra, especially if you're struggling. Because if you're struggling and you're interested in algebra help, then you know this video is going to help you out. So just real quick, um, myself, who I am, I am John Zimmerman. Okay, I'm the founder of a couple of cool math websites. One, AlgebraTestHelper.com, and then I have another site, TabletClass.com. I taught middle school, high school, college, uh, you know, got the degree, math, master's degree, all that good stuff, years and years of experience. So, you know, if you take a quick moment and listen to what I have to say, um, I'll give you some real good advice, okay, some good guidance to, you know, figure out, you know, so it will help you figure out how to get a plan together to um, get some algebra help, right? So if you're looking for algebra help, you know, give me a, a minute or two of your time, and I think um, you'll appreciate that. All right, so... Basically, if you're looking for algebra help, chances are that you are taking algebra in taking algebra class, right? So either in the classroom, I'll kind of screw, uh, draw a little picture here. So this might be you, and you might have some teacher over here spewing a bunch of algebra, and you're like, okay, I don't get that, <laughs> all right? So you might have a classroom setting, or you might be someone like, let's say, a homeschooler or an adult that is engaging with maybe something like on, an online system, okay, or just a textbook, all right? And so you don't, you know, you, know, you just have to read the material and you still got a bunch of questions, all right? So let's take a, uh, take a look at both scenarios real quick. And, um, and then this way you can kind of like structure your plan. Okay, what am I gonna do? All right, let's take a look at the classroom scenario. So the first thing is this, if you have a teacher, you need to, you need to totally try to get as much out of that teacher as possible, right? So you got to ask questions, right? So you got to ask, 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 and you got to go for extra help. Now, some of you are saying, "Oh, I want algebra help. I want algebra help, you know, independently." Okay, I don't want to deal with this person because this person's a bad person, right? Let's make this person a bad person, make them real evil, okay? As most algebra teachers are, they're screaming and yelling. Okay, no, I get that. Maybe you don't like your teacher, you don't understand them, and and they may not be the one that is going to be able to actually teach you. So I understand that, okay? However, you want to, you still want to make a, a real strong effort to reach out to them because they're this person here, this this evil algebra teacher, they're the ones that are going to end up giving you a grade, right? They're going to judge you on your character and how 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 much you're trying. If all your efforts over here and they can't see that, guess what? They're not going to, you know, they're not going to give you credit for everything you're trying to do outside the classroom. That's just the way it is. Okay? So you want to make sure that you're showing them a lot of effort. You're you're asking, you're going to their office hours, you're going after school, whatever the case might be, make that effort. Okay? Now beyond that, you say, yeah, yeah, I've done all that. I still need algebra help. So after you've done that, this, the next thing you need to do, okay, is you got to find someone that is uh, that explains uh, math in a way you understand. So that might kind of seem like obvious, like, well, of course, well, you know, do I need to switch class or need to find another teacher? Well, there's a lot of good options for you. If you're st particularly if we're talking about algebra, what I would suggest is the following. If if you like my style of instruction, and you can go to algebratesthelper.com, okay, and there's a ton of videos, a ton of stuff, I, free stuff I put out there, check that out, okay? Um, go, go to, um, I could give you another site here, go to Tablet Class on YouTube, okay, find my channel, just type in Tablet Class. I got like uh, hundreds of uh, free videos up there, and um, I think you might like the, the way I, I teach algebra, okay? And I got other stuff like geometry and some other advanced stuff out there. But if you do like it, and, you, and more importantly, if you understand it, okay, if you understand, understand, okay, what I'm saying, guess what? Then you're going to be learning, all right? And too often, you know, we just don't understand the language a teacher might be using. Maybe they're using very complex or formal language, you know, the second degree polynomial is to be factored and blah, 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 blah. You know, you're, you're falling asleep. You know, I would fall asleep. And so you want to find a teacher who really is going to, you know, uh, break things down, you know, give you explanations that you get. You're like, oh, okay. Now that makes a lot uh, more sense to me than what I was being taught. And so now let me do some more practice. And then, and then from that point forward, 
the key thing is this. Once you start understanding and learning, oh, I've got a little notes down here, let me erase that. Once you start understanding and learning, guess what's going to happen? You're going to start feeling better. Okay, so they're going to start feeling a whole lot better. Okay, and let me erase this. You can see I was doing some other math stuff down there. You can start feeling better, right? It doesn't feel good to be frustrated and not understand. But once you start understanding and you're learning, you start feeling better, and that's going to motivate you to want to continue to learn more. So that is the key. You have to get a different feeling about your learning situation. You got to feel better. You got to feel more uh, self-confident. You know, you got to feel like you can do this stuff. And it really takes some sort of personal connection. Okay, if you're saying, if you you know basically say, I'm not going to listen to this guy. I'm just going to get the textbook and you know learn it for myself. That more often than not, it's not going to to work. I mean, if you if uh, you know it used to be before we had the internet and everything else, you know you have to hire an expensive private tutor to come teach you, and sometimes that didn't work because the tutor the tutor was you know no better than your teacher as far as explaining things. So you have options to you. I would start with uh, you know my site Algebra Test Helper. It's totally free. Come over there; it's a free resource. And then of course tabletclass.com, which is a, a premier software site loved by people all over the. Uh, uh, the world. We have tons and tons of members and they love us because they understand the way I teach math. Okay. So anyway, you can go to our tablet class uh, YouTube channel, check out some stuff there if you like. All right. So bottom line is this. If you're, if you're in a classroom with a teacher, you need to go 110% effort to try to, uh, to understand how that teacher is teaching. Okay. Because they're going to give you credit towards your grades and everything else. And they're going to see that you're trying. Okay, so that's the first thing. The second thing is you need to uh, you need to go search out other teachers. And in this day and age, when you have uh, uh, the internet and YouTube, you know there's a ton of teachers out there that can that can help you. It just takes a little bit of effort, and that's my advice. Okay, start shifting your mentality to like I can't get this to okay, I feel better about it, and you'll start building some momentum. All right, so let's talk real quickly about the person who's taking algebra online. Maybe going back to school as an adult, have you know you have a textbook, you just really you don't know what you're doing. Same thing kind of applies. Okay, it's a little bit different this way. If let's say you're a homeschooler, you know you can't go to your you know uh, teacher because you don't really particularly have one. Your parent might be your teacher, but they already see how difficult you're learning. So you need to go right to resources like you know the things that I offer. Okay, look for other teachers that are going to explain things. Um, and then one thing I would stress too for those of you out there that say like our homeschoolers um, is to not get, I guess lack of a better word, overconfident saying, okay, X plus three equals seven. All right, if I just do this and X equals four, okay, now I'm really good at algebra, okay? Like I got it, I'm perfect, I'm done, I don't have to do any more practice, I've done, I finished algebra. Now this is a kind of a, a basic, ridiculous <laughs> kind of example. But if you don't have a teacher kind of there telling you, no, that's like a basic level. You need to go to a much higher level of understanding. You know, you you, you may not, you know, you may not know that. Okay, so the, the, my advice to you for the homeschooler is for whatever text or online system that you're using, you need to really make sure that it has very high standards. Okay, so it's, it's a rich and kind of deep curriculum that's going to, it's going to challenge you. If you take like an easy algebra course and you feel great about yourself, oh, the algebra is easy. Yeah, of course it's easy uh, because you're taking a super easy course. That's not going to help you later on down the line. When you're in calculus, you're going to fall apart. You're going to be like, ah, oh, this is terrible. And then you're going to have to try to relearn it. And, it, you know, you don't want to go there. So, you know, evaluate the curriculum or evaluate the college you're in or evaluate the class or the book you're using. Okay, so you do have some decisions there. And then after that, you want to go ahead and and use resources like algebratesthelper.com or tabletclass.com, etc. Anyways, so you know maybe this is all obvious to you, but after you know 30 plus years of experience, be hugely involved in uh, online education. You know I can tell you over and over and over again, thousands and thousands of people I've worked with over the years. This is the general game plan that always works. Okay, so stop being frustrated. You know do something about your situation. Uh, get the algebra help that's right for you, okay? But but you know, be smart about it. All right. So hopefully, 
at least come on over to algebratesthelper.com, check out our free resources, and uh, have a great uh, day.